All right, so let me see if we can get in here. Christ, getting older. All right, so welcome to Retro Bikes Dublin. We're looking at a Honda Steed 400, which if you're interested is around an A2. So if you're looking to your A2 license, you can do your A2 on this. Um, overall, they're really nice little cruiser bikes. Nothing too powerful, nothing too crazy. Um, I believe one of our most popular videos, if you look it up on the channel, Honda Steed 400 uh, ride and review. Um, I ride this bike actually quite extensively and I go through what it's like, but they're fairly comfortable. This one is, the, the that one I did was uh, fairly original. Um, this one has had plenty of little things done to it, stickers, um, pegs, uh, you've had the bobber seats here, rear, whatever this is, bar at the end, um, chroming, mirrors, a few little things, but the engine is completely done, original, so it'll ride exactly as it, uh, as, as um, the other ones did. Uh, and they, they're a very popular bike, really popular, very reliable, um, and people tend to really like the look of them. Uh, and I think this is kind of one of those that you either love it or hate it. Um, we did have a Rebel 125 that we had in that was also a kind of a bobbery styled, and that went very, very fast because there's kind of a, a certain person that really do, do fall in love with these types of bikes. And I can see why, you know, especially in the black color, stealth black, um, kind of cruisery, nice looking bike, not too much money. And uh, they're pretty good on fuel. They're pretty good. They're pretty good overall. Um, you know, these kind of cruiser bikes for going, doing your commute is, is, is kind of ideal. They're very comfortable and they're easy to ride. They're very easy to insure. There's no issues like that over like R's or anything in the, in the, in the uh, title so i have i don't have anything bad to say about steed 400s um and this one will be going at a reasonable price so i presume it'll be very popular um they're they're, they're kind of what you expect they're kind of like the standard honda cruiser um that uh, you've come to kind of know and uh, they're fairly smooth i like them and you probably will too so uh, if you do want to keep watching what we'll do is we're going to go through the quirks on the bike kind of show you what's going on and then uh, we move on to a ride along where we show you how the bike rides how it feels going through the gear stopping starting all that kind of stuff how to do all those things on the steed 400 so if uh, you're interested in that stick around and uh, we'll move on to the visual now Okay, hello and welcome. Here we are at the visual. So we've put a pre uh, basically brand new tire in the front. Front mud guard has got a little bit of marking here. It's a bit, bit dusty here um, from sitting. Other than that, all nice shape. Like I said, it's kind of been side panels have been kind of removed and a new kind of bobbery seat put on it. Same with the rear. It's going to give that bobber look. Uh, but overall, it's original. Um, engine wise and exhaust are original as well and they're actually in nice condition rear tire is good as well 97 bike um, I'm not sure if that's original uh, the rear brake light indicators down at the rear left and right are aftermarket uh, original rear pillion pegs original side stand original uh, gear selector as well Everything like that, tank as well, Root has the stripe down the middle, only 19,000 kilometers. Overall pretty good, Honda Steed 400, let's go for a ride. Okay, looks like we're hopping on the last bike of the day. I did let it just warm up slightly. Um, so here we have it, Steed 400, ridden a few of them before, this is kind of the bobbery style. So you got your single bobbery seat, I had to uh, get the battery out and put in a new battery, so uh, that was what the whole fuss is about. First big bike of the day. Well, people would call this a small bike, so first bike that's over 100cc today, would you believe? Feels nice. Nice and smooth riding. The seat isn't actually too bad, I thought it'd be more uncomfortable. Indicator at the front there working nicely, it's actually pretty bright lights coming off that. And we'll move out to the right here. And we'll move around the estate as per usual. 
uh, yes, probably that's what it was. I was wondering, I was like, what the hell, there's the power. I had the choke slightly on from warming it up. So choke off. And it's running much nicer now. Jeez, it's actually pretty quick. Christ. I wonder if there's any modifications done to this thing. Let her go. Nice. Maybe it's just I haven't been on a, <laughs> anything but 100cc today, so I think this is really quick. God, the seat is a bit bouncy though. I think it's probably partly a bit to do with these roads and a bit to do with the seat. It's also running off the reserve tank, so could do with a nice new fresh uh, tank of fuel, I'd say. Going through all the gears really, really nice. I can't go too nuts around here because it is the uh, estate. But it is quite bouncy. And if you want the look, then you gotta take what comes with it. But if you just want to take it easy and cruise along, doing 30 kilometers an hour here, no fuss at all, no spluttering, no. You know, sometimes you get a lot of these bikes that they just don't like being at low speed. This is definitely not one of those. It's definitely a cruiser through and through. Now. And we'll go through now. We'll do our usual where we uh, go up to the uh, side here. And we um, got some of the, the dog coming home, little baby. Uh, we'll put it in uh, into neutral, which is super easy to find. Put her on the side stand. And there she is, idling, stopping, starting, lights, everything like that. So this is where we check the lights. We saw the front one's working. Uh, so that rear needs a bulb. Left rear, so right and front right working. So this is the rear. We'll get that sorted before anyone comes down anyway. Now horn. Horn's working well, and uh, this rear brake light, yep, yeah, that's also working as well. So, electric's working as they should. I believe that front headlamp is working as well. We'll get a, rear, we'll get a, a bulb into that. We have one in stock. I'll probably just do it as I actually go in. But that's a Honda Steed 400. It looks pretty mean on the road. It sounds really good, and they're the original exhaust on it. The engine is actually in really nice nick now that I see from this this uh this angle outside but uh front and rear tire good all ready to go um so if you have liked the video please do leave a like comment and subscribe to the channel as well as um if you want to reach out to us on our social medias please do look on uh, www.retrobikesdublin.com as well as the social media sorry uh, instagram and facebook at retrobikesdublin so thanks for watching